Hi, this is Tristan back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to talk about why I sold the Fostex TH900 headphones that I reviewed in my channel a few months back. I've gotten a couple of questions about them. And in that review video, which you can refer to in my channel, I talked about these headphones as being probably the best closed cans, not open, but, you know, closed sealed headphones uh, that you can get. And I still stand behind that or stand by that. I still do think that they are probably one of the best closed headphones that you can get in terms of the overall sound quality. Um, the sound stage on them is quite excellent for being closed headphones. The bass on them is awesome. The design of them is really cool with the wooden ear cups and all that kind of stuff. But for me, there were a few reasons why I decided to sell these headphones. And the first one being that for me, the highs were a little bit too bright for my liking. Now I've talked about it before in some of my other audio reviews that my ears are quite sensitive to highs, to you know harsh trouble. And so I really like a very sort of laid back, uh, more, a little bit of a darker signature headphone. Um, so that's one of the reasons. Uh, also that goes along with that, the second reason is the mids on these are a bit recessed for me. I tend to like, um, a more of a forward mid uh, sounding headphones, whereas these tend to be a little bit recessed in the mids. Um, and then the third reason I sold these is the impedance on these is quite low. It's 25 ohms. And that actually can cause problems sometimes with uh, powerful amplifiers because what happens is that, uh, you know, if you have a high end powerful amplifier um, with such a low impedance, some of the uh, amps really struggle with issues like noise floor and the number of steps in a volume pot. So for instance, on my Burson conductor with these headphones, while they sounded pretty good, they sounded a little bit too bright. Um, but also the main problem was for me, even on the low gain mode on the amplifier, uh, using the volume pot, uh, you'd have it on a certain level and it would be too low. And if you wanted to go a little bit louder, the next notch up was too loud. So it was really hard to adjust uh, to get it to a comfortable volume. So that was a little bit of an issue for me with these headphones. Also, I find it a slight oddity that these headphones are so fragile in terms of being designed with the really nice uh, finish, uh, the wooden cups, you know, the wooden ear cups, yet they're a 25 ohm ed headphone which means that you know you might be tempted to just plug them right into an iPhone or iPod and just take them with you. Yet they don't come with a case, they don't come with a pouch or anything. You have to be real careful with them because they're quite expensive headphones. They're over $1,000 headphones. So, you know, just sort of the uh, design ethic of them in some ways didn't make a lot of sense for me because uh, they're kind of a headphone that you want to take with you. They do sound quite good and nice directly out of an iPhone or iPod or whatever. Of course, they'll sound better amped, but you know, they do sound quite good and all that. And they're closed headphones, but yet, you know, you have to treat them real carefully because, you know, you can't really bang them around and stuff because they're so expensive. Um, so there was a little bit of a, di of a dichotomy there um, with these headphones. The other thing is that, um, you know, I have other alternatives to these now. I have the Vmoda M100s, which are a $300 headphone. And to me, you know, of course, they're not as nice as these. They do sound pretty good. And, you know, in terms of bass headphones, closed bass headphones, I think the Vmoda M100s are definitely a nice contender. Um, you know, these Fostex have great bass, no doubt about it. The bass really slams on them. Um, so they're awesome for, for bass. Um, but you know, so are the Vmoda M100s in my opinion, and the Vmoda M100s are more suitable to take with me places and, you know, to be portable. They fold up, they're much more durable, um, they're cheaper, so I'm not as worried about them getting scratched up and things like that. And also another reason I sold these is I was able to sell them for pretty much what I paid for them as well. So that was another reason as well. I didn't really lose money on the sale. Now, when these first came out, in the USA, these were like literally $1,800 or $1,900 headphones. Um, since then, they have actually come down in price. Now I think you can get them for, I would say, between maybe $1,300 and $1,500 online. So they've definitely come down, but certainly they're not uh, inexpensive headphones by any means. Um, but I would say that if you just want one pair of headphones and you don't mind the low impedance of these, the 25 ohm impedance, and you're looking for closed headphones, these should be something that you might want to take a look at. 
Um, now, if you want my full review, please go back to that video where I did my full review of these and talked more about them in, in depth. But I did want to say that. So those are just sort of my thoughts and the reason why I decided to sell the Fostex T900 headphones. Now, in the future, I'll probably be doing more update videos just like this one, talking about why I sold certain products, because I do tend to buy things and then sometimes a few months later I will sell them. And so I think, you know, it might be instructive for viewers to hear why I sold a certain product or whatever. And that might be something that's useful. So I'll probably go back and do some update videos just like this one uh, in, the, in the near future, talking about uh, products that I have sold and why. So thanks for watching this video, and as always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them. Please give this video a thumbs up, and also make sure you're subscribed so that you can get future updates and future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.